Hello. Today is a great day for America. Thank you for taking the time to walk with us into this world of miracles. In this series of meditations, we explore the spectacular incidents that took place during the life and times of Jesus Christ. We call them miracles. I am the Rev. Ronald Nathan, and I'm the minister of the Hogard A.M.E. Zion Church in Jackson, St. Michael, and the island of Barbados. A miracle is an extraordinary and astonishing happening that is due to the presence and actions of God. The miracles of Jesus Christ gives us a glimpse of his compassion, his identity, and of his future plans, which culminates in our exclamation, Oh my God! Today, as for the last week, we are exploring the miracle where Jesus opens the eyes of a man born blind and it sparks a great controversy. It's found in John chapter 9 verse 1 through to 38 and I pray that you will take the time to read that whole passage. However, I'm going to read verse 21 through to 23 and then part of verse 34. Ask him, he is of age, he will speak for himself. His parents said these things because they feared the Jews, for the Jews had already agreed that if anyone should confess Jesus to be Christ, he was to be put out of the synagogue. Therefore his parents said, he is of age, Ask him. And in verse 34, we are told, and they cast him out. Jesus launched his public ministry in the synagogue in, Jer in Nazareth. It would seem that he regularly visited synagogues on the Sabbath day to pray and to hear the reading of the law, or what we call today the Old Testament. The synagogue was, in the first century, a sacred place set aside for the reading of the law and prayer. However, the synagogue was also where people would assemble or gather, and its social role as a unifying force in the community grew. We know from the many synagogue appearances in the New Testament that not only was the law read, but an exhortation or short homily, sermon if you wish, was given. Given the above, we are told that the Pharisees, a religious sect, were significant persons who had political connections who were keepers of the original traditions concerning the law, if you wish, the university professors of the day. And it seemed that they had a significant impact on what took place within and around the synagogue. The man who was born blind was healed by Jesus the Christ. This sparks a controversy for two reasons. Jesus carried out that act of mercy, that act of healing, that act of wholeness on the Sabbath day. This was characterized as work and therefore forbidden by the Pharisees, the local interpreters and upholders of the law. Second, there was dispute created by the Pharisees as to whether the whole matter of this man being healed, of this miracle of blind eyes being open as fake news, a hoax. The Pharisees did not want to believe it. What is very revealing is that 
because of Jesus' growing reputation as a teacher, preacher, and healer, the Pharisees had already come to the conclusion that he was person, persona non grata. In other words, a person not welcomed. Anyone who supported Jesus and saw him or testified of him as the Messiah, the Anointed One, the Christ, would be banned from the synagogue. To this innocent man, whose life has been changed, whose faith has been restored, and whose future now has so much more possibilities, he finds himself thrown out of the synagogue. Why? Because he was a recipient of a miracle. He was willing also to tell the story of what Jesus did for him. It is indeed ironic that the same Jesus who stood up in a synagogue some three years before and said, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has chosen me to bring recovery of sight to the blind is now the cause for this man to be thrown out of the house of prayer, out of the place where the word of God is read. So there you have it. God the Father working the extraordinary through his Son for his praise, glory, and honor. God bless you. And have a great day.